Imagine being able to send instant personalized updates to your Jotform app users right on their phones or tablets, like that one. Well, now you can with push notifications. Whether it's an urgent update or a friendly reminder, this feature puts you directly in touch with your Jotform app users in real time. In this video, I'll briefly go over how to create a Jotform web app, and then I'll show you how to turn on and push a notification to your users. So let's get started. So to get started with Jotform app creation, log into your Jotform account, and then from the homepage tab here, you're gonna click on where it says My Forms. You're gonna click on that and click on My Apps. Now, if you don't have an app already created, click on Create App here, the big purple button. And to get started with creating your app, you can use four options. You can start from scratch, use a template, build a store, or clone an existing app. So what I did for our demo here today is I used a template and they have over 700 plus templates that you can get started with. And so I used a vehicle inspection checklist or something like that. But you would just type in here, search whatever you want to search for. So some type of service maybe, and it will show up on 98 templates for services, services and support, all that wonderful thing. Now, the thing about these apps is that they're not apps that you're going to find in an app store. What people are going to be doing is going to a link and then saving that link to their home screen in their mobile devices. Okay, so it's not an app that you're going to find in an app store. But the way it works on your on your mobile device is somewhat like an app. Once you've selected a template that you're happy with, let's just select, I don't know, pet care services. Just click on use template. And since we're talking about job form here, the basis of these apps is forms. <laughs> so you can use these types of forms. And there so there are two forms associated with this daily routine for pet care. And you can click on e either one of these and it will take you over to the form to then go edit. OK, so let me just show you what I've been working on so far in our demo. So let me go back to my apps. So here is Metro Ride. So I asked ChatGPT to come up with a fictitious name for a car ride service for a metropolitan area, and it came up with Metro Ride, which is pretty cool. So let me click on edit, and it also came up with the logo that you're gonna see here, Metro Ride. <laughs> so it's a very basic app so far, and what I've got going is two forms, and one came with the template, Again, I used a vehicle inspection template, and that's just to contact us. Uh, and the other one is a vehicle inspection checklist, which I've edited. And the other two are just regular buttons uh, that will perform an action. In this case, if you click on it, it will say email us. If you click on that, it will open up your email provider on your mobile device to then email us. Or you can do a call us, and that will open up the phone integration on your mobile device. So this is how it looks like as I'm editing it. Over on the right-hand side here, you see a live preview of how it's gonna look on a phone. I can switch to tablet, or I can even switch to desktop. We'll go back to the app builder to take a look at our form that I have going on here. I'll click on it and I'll get that edit form option. And that will take us over to the form builder in Jotform. So again, I have the logo in there and then I filled in uh, uh, some information here about uh, what goes into a vehicle checklist and how a driver would be able to fill this out before they hop into the vehicle that's going to get driven. So I'd want the driver name, I'd want the, the vehicle type, the vehicle make, the model is it clean has it been refueled is there any equipment that isn't missing there is missing or needs to be replaced and then an option for notes at the end of that i have and this came by default this acknowledgement that you are responsible for the vehicle and then a signature and also a thank you page comes with it and i've just edited that very simply by putting in the logo and it just says thanks for completing the vehicle inspection checklist so these are all standard form things that happen in john form it just so happens that this form is attached to our form app builder or app okay where we get into the push notifications is in settings so let's go over to the settings tab 
And similar to form settings, you have app settings. So you can enable or disable the app. You can add the home screen modal. So it will show and add a home screen modal when the user opens the app. I recommend that because otherwise they won't know how to do it in some cases. Continue forms later, that's an option. If a person closes out the app and then reopens the app, continue on filling out the form that they were already filling out. I have that turned on. And I've also turned on prevent cloning. So prevent other users from cloning this app. Under the app name and icon section, it gives you an example of what it's going to look like on a user's mobile device. So it has our logo in there, and then I change the app name to Metro Ride. Okay. Then there is a splash screen, and the splash screen is just a quick little pop up that opens up when you first open up the app. So I've kept it pretty much default with the color and the logo. And that's it. But you can customize that if you wish. Then we get into the push notification. Now, when you turn this on, it'll give you notifications and notification content to send out. The big thing here is that you need to edit the permission request. When a person puts this app on their phone and opens it up for the first time, they're going to get this opt-in basically to receive push notifications to their mobile device. So you can keep it generic just the way it is here, stay updated, allow app notifications to get the latest news, updates, and exclusive offers delivered directly to your device. Change that, customize that, how you need to use this type of service. Granted, you are limited to 400 characters and it's only going to appear once. When they've Once they've opted in, that's it. Or if they've not opted in, that's it. They're not going to see that again. Now, before I send out a notification, let's go over to the publish tab so I can show you how a person would get your app on a mobile device. So if we go over to the publish tab, you can share out the link here. You can invite people by email or you can open up more options here and you can says, you know, share with a QR code, which is probably what we'll be doing momentarily. But let me just go click on back and click on the settings for whether or not you want this app to be public. So you have other options here. You can make it private, only available to invited people only. So people will receive an invite to the app and only those people who are invited get access. You could also make it company access so that it you can only use a certain email address. So let's say it is, you know, acme.com and, and every email should be acme.com. So if a person signs in or logs into the app, and they're not from acme.com, they won't get access to the app. But we're going to keep this public access because it's not really, really for this demo. And so I just wanted to show you that there are options available to you to make it a little bit more secure. Right. So let's scan our QR code here with our phone and we'll install the app and I'll show you how all that works. So we're over at our camera here. I'm just going to scan this in quickly. That'll take us over to our browser. It's going to ask us, do we want to save this to our home screen? There you go right there. Do you want to add this to your home screen? And it tells us how to do that. So we'll click on the little share button at the bottom and click add to home screen. So here it is right here. Click on add to home screen. We can change the name if we want, but we'll just click on add. And now our web app looks like every other app that came from an app store. We can click on it. It'll open up as an app, but it's really a web link that we're opening up. It's going to take a little bit to load initially. That was our splash screen you see there. And then we get the message that says, hey, would you like to receive push notifications from this app? And we'll click on allow. And then we'll click allow again from Apple. And now we're going to get our push notifications to our phone. So let's go back over to the computer and send out a push notification. But we'll go back over to settings and this is how it's gonna be. Gonna go back over to the push notifications. Every time you wanna send out a push notification, you gotta log into your app builder, into your app and send out a notification manually through uh, this interface, through on, on the desktop or if you have JobForm installed or mobile device, you can do that there too. But each time you wanna send out a push notification, you have to do it manually inside the app builder, okay? I asked them if it's gonna be automated. I've asked them if, if we can send this out, schedule it, all that type of stuff. They put in a request to the developers to build something like that. Whether it's gonna happen or not, I'm not sure. So we put in a title, gonna keep it short and snappy. We'll just say, hey, new new items in the checklist. And you get to see a preview there 
right here what it's going to look like. So if you start to go over, it starts to wrap around or gets truncated, you'll know that too. So you have 250 characters here. You probably won't even need that much. Uh, we'll say check out the latest vehicle equipment checklist as we have added new items something like that and again that's nice that you get to see what it's going to look like so when we click on send we're going to see it on our phone shortly thereafter so you can see here that we've got our notification that we've received it on our phone hey new items in the checklist for metro ride check out the new items added to the vehicle equipment checklist any questions let us know so we can tap on that and it will take us to the app just like that. If you found this video tutorial helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more JotForm tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.